So to continue the um, composition that we we're working on, um, the first thing that I did in Audio Tool was I took um, my chord progression and originally I put in uh, G for a whole note, C for a whole note, D for a whole note, and then A for a whole note. And I put um, B flat and D. And these are notes that I chose out of the F major scale, remember? So that's where the B flat is coming from. It's coming from the scale. I'm just using the notes in the scale. So I put that into Audio Tool and I started to edit and I didn't really like this bass movement that I chose randomly. Um, so what I did was I moved the D over here, which is just part of the editing process. And then I switched this to a C. And then we revisited the D over here. Now, repeating this, this is repeated. Do da, do da, do da, do da. Um, so, what I found when I got to the D was that the note D worked well. But the, the B flat didn't really sound that good. So um, from the B flat, I had the choice to go to the, to the C or the A, and I chose the A. So then I have A, D, and then that repeats for this bar. Um, it repeats four times. And then over this bar here, I actually kept the A and brought the, the D down to a C. And then uh, for, the, for the D, I just moved the C back, okay? So I just briefly edited that and um, you can hear what that sounds like right here. So um, pretty basic so far, but this is what we start with. It's like the uh, it's like the cake. It's pretty boring on its own, but once we add the vanilla and the icing and the decorations and the candles, it gets uh, more exciting. So um, what I'm gonna look at next is just things that I can do. So I have this um, repeated repeated thing here. I'm just going to put the repeats in here really quick for you. Um, so that I've got A, D, A, D, um, and one more A, D. And then this happens to be A, C, A, C, A, C. And we'll put those in nice and quick. And then back to the A, D, A, D, A, D. Okay, um, and we'll take this over to Audio Tool in um, in the next video, and you can you can see it on on the scroll. So the first thing that I'm gonna do um, is just try and interrupt this flow. So one idea that I had, and I'm just trying this out. I haven't heard how it sounds yet or anything. Was um, I just thought of this idea? One, three, two three. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have one note play. So I'm going to... All right. So like I said, um, I edited my notes. So the B flat to the D I kept. And then in the second bar, I changed the B flat to an A and kept the D. In the third bar, I changed the A to a C, or sorry, the D to a C and kept the A. And then in the fourth bar, I went back to A and D. And I changed my bass line, which I originally picked uh, G, C, D, A. 
Um, when I put that in and heard what was happening, I didn't really like the movement, so I changed a few notes around. I changed this to D, G, D, C, D, which you're free to do at any time. Um, so what I'm going to do, we talked about um, creating some rhythmic interest. So I'm going to play this one more time just to make sure the volume's up as much as possible. So now I said I had this idea of having one, three, two, three. So I'm going to go, that's one note. So I'm just going to delete that one and then three notes happen and then two notes happen and then three notes happen. So now with the rest of this bar, I can do what I like. But I've got um, I've got this one three two three thing happening. Um, so now um, I was gonna just uh, delete these three notes and have a little space, and then I said I was gonna do the pattern backwards and see what happens. Um, so that's one two three, and then two. Whoops. And so three, two, one, two, three, and then one. So then these notes here, I can just delete. So let's hear what's happened now with just that little bit of rhythmic editing and see what takes shape. Okay, so you can already hear there's much more there's much more interest there. Um, so now I can take um, some of these notes and I could move them around so that there's not so much um, repetition. I can do some editing. Um, so my first choice would be to take it down to the next note of the scale or up to the next note of the scale. Um, so what I'm going to... I had two ties. Okay, thanks, buddy. So what I'm going to do... Sorry about that. That was Logan. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take um, this, this B flat and I'm going to move it up to a C. Um, and just see just see what that sounds like Okay, so I like that um, so I'm gonna take this a now And I'm gonna try moving it up to that E just to give me some uh, something a little higher in the range No, I don't like that E let's try let's try an F That's better. Um, let's go down here to a C. I like that. So this is um, this is what it's all about. You can just take your your melody and you can reshape it, um, add things to it, um, what whatever whatever you like to do. Um, for instance, uh, this A over here. Maybe that would be a good spot to get an E in there. I don't know. Nope. That didn't work. So let's try... Let's try... Uh, let's try that B flat. Yeah, so I can keep editing that until I come up with something that I like. So one thing that I might do is at the end here, I might take this note and just make it last a little longer. Um, I might do the same thing here. I might make it last a little longer. 
Um, if I like a space, I could actually take this whole thing here and just shift it over one. Let's hear how that changes it. Yeah, so I'm gonna keep editing and keep doing things. And remember, if you do something that you don't like, uh, this button here is your best friend. That will undo um, things. So if I didn't like that shift, I can just undo it. If I didn't like that lengthening of the note, I can just undo it. And if I hit it all the way, I can go right back to where we started. Okay, um, so another thing that you can do with this eighth note idea is um, you can switch whole groups. So if I take this one and sh shove it over here, and then take this one and shove it over here. Now let's compare that to the original. So now I'm gonna I'm gonna change I'm gonna shift to the so the upper note is sounding first and the lower note is sounding second. So let's that's happening in bars one and two and in bars three and four now. Very simple idea, but it just changes the changes the pattern around. Um, so now, um, let's try, let's try getting, oh, I didn't mean to move all of them. Let's try moving, um, let's try moving just this one. And let's move this one up to a C and hear what that does. Um, so let's try, let's try this. So now this note isn't actually in the scale that we were using. We we're using an F major scale. So F, G, A, B flat, C, D, E, F. Um, that note's outside of the scale and you're allowed to use notes outside of the scale. But I would suggest that you use them um, in what we call neighboring tones. So this is a D and I go to um, an outside tone that's right beside it and I go right back to the D. So if you use them like that, it, they're, they're gonna work pretty well. If you start throwing them in kind of randomly and outside or from big leaps or on strong tones, um, it's not gonna work out as well. But if you hear something like that, um, a lot of modern music, um, Billie Eilish comes to mind, uh, uses that technique. Um, and you can experiment with it as well. So feel free to add in some notes that are outside of the scale after you get to this point in your in your editing of your melodies. So hopefully you have um, uh, two sections like this with different bass lines and different melodies um, within the next couple of days. And then we're going to look at um, how we can take our bass lines and make them a little more interesting. And then we're going to add some, uh, some drums to that, which you already know how to do. All right. Hope you enjoyed uh, today's lesson. And I hope you enjoy uh, working your, your projects through, um, through Audio Tool using these techniques. And if you want uh, to set up a one-on-one -on -one session with me through uh, MS Teams and ask some questions face-to-face, -face, I'm happy to do that. Or you can shoot me some questions through the email. And, uh, you know, hopefully we'll see you guys uh, as soon as we can. Okay, take care.